Hi guys, glad to see you back today. Today is actually National Kazoo Day. You know, they, they designate things for special days and special holidays. I mean, how, how cool is it that they actually have a National Kazoo Day? They had a Squirrel Day, and now we have a Kazoo Day. So I hope you have a bunch of toilet paper tubes. I have about five or six or seven of them. Um, depending on how many you want to make, uh, you'll, you'll need a bunch of those. So um, let's start by making a kazoo. And um, first we'll make a kazoo and then you can do that as many times as you want. And you can have as many kazoos as you want. So let's look at how to make a kazoo out of a toilet paper tube. I got toilet paper tube, hole punch, and I have some wax paper. And I have some rubber bands. And then later we're gonna decorate these. Um, so there'll be animals and you'll have a, a zoo kazoo. <laughs> so let's get started. Um, here's my toilet paper tube. Whoops, wait a minute, there we go. There's my paper, there's my toilet paper tube. And there is my hole punch. So I'm gonna stick my hole punch down the tube and then make a hole right about there, as far as I can push it onto my hole punch. And I click it, and there's my hole. And that's really important because when you hum into this, that lets some of the air out. Okay, so now I'm gonna need some wax paper. And so I have some right here, and I'm gonna pull a little bit off the roll, probably about four inches. And then I'm gonna pull it off the roll. Oops, it tore a little bit, that's okay. And then I am going to cut a square. See how I set the toilet paper tube right over the top of my wax paper. And I'm gonna use my scissors and I'm gonna cut a square of wax paper that's gonna fit over the toilet paper tube, the end with a hole in it. So it's gonna be bigger than you need, but we'll trim it off later. So then I'm gonna take and turn it upside down and kind of wrap it around the top like that. See how it is, and I'm holding it with my hand. Whoa, there we go. And we might have to trim it so it doesn't cover up the hole, but now I've got my rubber band going here. And I got one that looks like this. I'm gonna wrap my rubber band right around the top couple of different times so that wax paper will stay. You know, hope I'm not going too fast. How are you guys doing? Oh, I see more people, yay. Now we have two groups of people. Okay, so there's my rubber band wrapped around the top. Okay, so this is the end that you hum into. And there is my hole punch. So let's kind of clear that hole so it lets out the air when you hum into it. So I'm taking my scissors and I'm gonna trim my wax paper so it's gonna clear the hole. There, ta-da, it's clear. <laughs> and so there's a lot of extra wax paper around the edge. So I'm gonna trim off some of that too because we're gonna decorate this next in a couple of different ways. And you're gonna want a clear space so you can glue on your decorations because I want it to look like an animal because these are zoo kazoos. Okay, so I turned it, it's a lot shorter. So there it is, I wrapped it, I held it with a, <laughs> I held it with a rubber band and now it's all set to make a bunch of noise if you hum into the open end. Oops, more trimming. There we go. Okay, so that's what we put together, right? <laughs> And there's the hole that we cut. And the wax paper is what vibrates and makes a crazy sound. And so then you just put it to your mouth like this and hum, <laughs> hum anything. <laughs> and the air in your voice makes the wax paper buzz. So there it is, but it's not decorated. We need to decorate this up like an animal. So I picked for the first one for us to try out. I picked 
a pig. <laughs> there he is. So this is what I did. I got another, you can do this with construction paper or I used another toilet paper tube to make my animal faces. And this is what I did. I took an empty toilet paper tube. And if you look at it really close, you can see a line that runs diagonally all the way around that tube. And I'm gonna pull my toilet paper tube apart along that diagonal line. So can you see what I'm doing there? I'm pulling it apart right on that diagonal line. It should come right apart. Whoops. Anyway, maybe this, oh, here it is. See how it came loose? There, I'm gonna pull it apart on that diagonal line. Pull my toilet paper tube apart, there it is. <laughs> oh, it didn't turn out very perfect. Well, it's okay. I'm gonna cut it. So you've got something that looks like this, a flattened out toilet paper tube. And some of my paper rips, so I'm gonna trim it. Like that. There you go. So you can see how I did. There is my flattened out toilet paper tube, but it still kind of curls. And that's gonna help us because when we try to glue it onto the kazoo to decorate it, it's gonna wrap around a little bit. So let's see how we made a pig. Um, I'm gonna demonstrate a couple of different animals so you can see how to do it, but you can kind of invent your own if you want. Now here, I've got a whole bunch of things that I can trace circles with. I got a can that's round. I got a lid of a spray can um, that's round. I've got a, a top from a bottle cap. And, you know, I've got lots of things. Oh, and I've got a lid from a milk, a milk um, jug. So I've got lots of things that I can trace that around. But if you don't have anything to trace, you can just kind of draw your own circle. And so see how this is almost a diamond shape when I flatten it out? So I'm gonna pick probably the widest part in my diamond shape, and I'm gonna use my can to make a circle for a pig's head. Okay, so there's my circle that I traced with the can, and I'm just gonna cut it out. But if you don't have anything to trace a circle with, it doesn't matter, you can draw your best circle and cut it out. Okay. All right. Or if you if you don't want to do this um, with the toilet paper too, and you have a piece of construction paper, you could draw a circle on a piece of construction paper. Okay. But the reason I use this is because it kind of curls and it's going to wrap around <laughs> my toilet paper tube really easily. Okay. So now I need a circle for the nose. And I happen to have milk jug lid, and I'm gonna use my marker. And I'm using black because it shows up best on camera. I'm gonna use my marker and I'm going to trace a pig nose right on my big circle. So big circle, little circle, and that's gonna be the pig nose. So the pig needs to breathe, he needs some nostril holes. So I'm gonna put two dots, one, two with my marker there <laughs> but he he doesn't he doesn't have any eyes to see you guys with yet so <laughs> we're gonna do some little tiny circles above the pig nose right over here on each side and i'm gonna draw some little circles with the dot inside so it looks like he's looking at you and then on the other side, another small circle with a dot inside. So it looks like he's looking at you. How about that? Okay. So he's missing some ears, right? So if you decided that you were using the, you cut your circle out of the flattened paper towel tube, those ears look like triangles to me, right? <laughs> So I am going to cut two triangles off the end of my flattened paper towel rope tube. There's a triangle right there. So there I go. And 
that one didn't have a, a very good one. So I'm going to cut another one about the same size. So now I have two pig ears and I'm going to decorate those with my marker and we'll glue them on. There, does that look like pig ears? Whoops, there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to fill in to make them look nice and dark. Whoops, with my marker following in the, a triangle within a triangle. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to put them on to my pig face. <laughs> so it looks like he's got ears. And I hope you have a glue stick. So I am going to take a look at where to put those ears. So I'm going to just put a whole bunch of glue on the back side of my pig head like this. And then I'm going to turn these upside down and glue some ears onto my pig. Let's turn it over and see what it looks like when I do that. Pig ears. <laughs> All right. So now, whoops, I might want to make a little bit more inside of the triangle, inside the triangle right there. There, that looks a little better. Pig. Okay. Okay, so here's the kazoo we made. And we trimmed off the wax paper. So turn it and turn it until you find the hole. You don't want to cover up the hole so the head is going to go on the other side. So my finger is there. Turn it around to the other side. And that's where I'm going to put the head, right there. So what I'm going to do is take a look at the back side of my pig head, take my glue stick, and I'm going to put a whole bunch of glue right in the middle. Right in the middle. And I want to, I don't want to glue the whole thing down because it'll just roll up, but I want to glue the middle down so it'll stick out. Okay, then I hold it against I stick my fingers inside and I hold it against and I press it down where I put that glue. And notice how I didn't cover up the hole. I put the pig head on the other side and put it right down there. So there's the pig head. Now you have a kazoo that looks like a pig, but he needs some feet, right? What do you think? So I'm going to take my marker and draw pig feet <laughs> right under his head. So there, oh, pigs have hooks, right? So there's a hook. These are just very simple legs. A line, a zigzag, a zigzag, and another line. And then of course the hoofs. I'm gonna color that in black. Do, 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 do. So how are you guys doing? Were you able to get the pig head on your kazoo? There he is. <laughs> I'll go back to FaceTime and we'll stop for a second and see how you guys did. There we go. <laughs> there. Oops. My pig head is on a little bit wonky. There we go. Not bad. Ta-da! Pig. And then I can still use him to make some noise. <laughs> there we go. Now there's a pig head. So there's lots of other animals that you can do. Um, if you want to do another kazoo, you can do another kazoo. And I thought that maybe I'd show you how to do a raccoon. Oh, whoops, get the pig out of the way. Okay, so again, we are going to use a paper towel too. And I'm Remember that diagonal line. I'm going to open up that paper towel tube and make it flat. There. Whoa, it looks like a big diamond shape. So instead of drawing a circle this time, I'm going to draw kind of a heart shape. So you see how there's a point here and a point here? I'm gonna fold it so the point touches the point. So it looks like that. I'm not gonna crease it very much, but see how it's spread out like that? 
Okay. So now when I cut hearts, I cut them on a fold so that one loop of the heart looks like the other. But this one also has ears sticking up. Whoops. So I'm going to try to cut that into the shape too. So I'm going to start down here where there's eventually going to be the raccoon nose. And I'm going to cut a heart shape. Okay. So there's the fold. And there's the top. And that's where I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut a heart shape. So I'm going to cut, 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 cut all the way around to the top. And if I kept going, I could do that to the fold. That would be all right, but I want an, an ear. So I'm gonna do a little bump. And then back around. And then I'm gonna continue down to the fold. Let's see what happens. Okay, uh-oh, one of my ears didn't turn out. Oh, pretty good. So that's what I've got. I got a big, big heart shape. Not quite like this one, but pretty good. Okay, so there is the basic shape of my raccoon head. There's the ears. There's, let's draw a face on them that looks the same. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my marker and make a nose right on the point. Right down here, I'm gonna do around and around and around and around so he has a little cute black nose. Now this raccoon needs a mask, right? <laughs> Raccoons always have, they call them mask bandits. So where you folded to, draw, to um, do the heart, you can see the fold. I want you to do a big U shape over here. And stop at the fold and then come back. Okay, so I'm gonna turn around to the other side, a big U shape. So I'm gonna go U shape and I don't touch it back there. So there's the part of that's starting to be his mask. So where are his eyes? A circle near the end of one U shape. It's all about shapes. Oh, and he needs some dots in his eyes so it looks like he's looking at yeah. And then, color in his mask. Oh, my, <laughs> my black marker is not working very good right now. But I think I can get enough black in there to make it look like a mask. Or you could do this with crayons too. Don't always have to have markers, but crayons work. Okay, there we go. So now up here, I put his ears, I accidentally, one of his ears is like messed up. Oh well, <laughs> but we'll put a little bit of color to designate the inside of his ear, like that. There we go. So raccoons have a special tail. Anybody know what a raccoon tail looks like? It's got stripes. <laughs> so I'm going to take one of the edges of where I cut out the heart shape. And oh, that one's broken. So I have another one over here. Here we go. And I'm going to make a tail out of the pointy end of the flattened paper towel tube. So there we go. Okay. So that's going to be his tail. So I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to do stripes. He's got a stripey tail, black and white and black and white and black and white and black and white. Stripes, 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 all the way down his tail, like that. And you can do the other side too. Whoops, and a little bit on his tip. He's got to have a black tip, right? There we go. So that's starting to look like a raccoon tail. And maybe some on the other side. <laughs> I need a new marker. I need a new marker. Oh yeah, here we go. 
New marker. More stripes, more stripes. And if you have a crayon, you can do that too. Okay, so now let's put it onto a kazoo. All right, so I drew some pig feet on this one, but we'll change those in a minute. So remember, there's your hole. And we're going to put the raccoon head on the other side. And the hole over. There's the other side. There's where you glue the raccoon head. And so I'm going to put a little bit of glue stick right in the middle. Lots of glue. Turn it over. Stick my hand inside the tube and press it down. Oops. There we go. So there's a raccoon face. I'm going to change this guy's feet because I was demonstrating how to do um, pig feet, but I don't need to do that anymore. So I'm going to change into raccoon paws. <laughs> Raccoon paws. They're a little bit more rounded. There we go. Raccoon paws. Ta-da. And then the tail. I'm going to glue that on the back too. Now the tail, as long as you don't put it up here where the hole is, you can stick it on the back like that. There we go. A raccoon tail. So a little bit of glue on that edge. Here we go. Glue, glue, glue. And right by the hole, so it kind of sticks out. And so there he is, raccoon. Let's take a look at FaceTime camera and check him out. <laughs> there he is. Can you see how I did that? There's the end where you blow. There's the end where it vibrates and buzzes. So now <laughs> we have a raccoon, and we have a pig. So two different ones. Now, I think before we go, I might show you how to do a giraffe out of a long paper towel tube if you have one. Or you could do a short neck giraffe if you don't have a big long one, or you could do a couple of these and glue them or tape them together and make a long neck giraffe. But the same thing, happens when you build it out of a long tube. You take your hole punch, stick it as far in there as you can, make a hole, and make some wax paper, same steps. You can make as many of these really as you have supplies to do. So I'm making one giraffe here, putting, wrapping and wrapping my rubber band around that fuzzy wax paper. Uh, and then I got to find the hole. Where did my hole go? Because I got to trim it. Where's that hole? Okay. Hole, hole. Oh, you know what? I put it on the wrong end. <laughs> That's crazy. So we'll do that again. I put it on the wrong end. There's the end with the hole. You know, stuff like that happens. Okay, there's the hole. And I'll show you how to make a giraffe head. And then... I want to see all of yours. Okay, so there's. Now it's on the right end with the end with the hole. I haven't shown you. There we go. There we go. All right. So where's the hole? There it is. I'm going to trim my wax paper around. And we'll go back to the table camera to show you how to do a quick. Giraffe head. Got one more paper towel to, that I'm going to flatten out here in a second. You can watch me do that. Okay. So there it is. I'm going to take, I'm going to find my corner, flatten it out. And hmm, there we go. There's the diamond shape. And at the widest part, I'm going to take and do a big 
So maybe if I fold it, that would be good because then I can tell where the center is. Hold on. All right. So you remember those points that we saw before? I'm going to fold along those points, but not crease it too much. But then I can tell where the middle is, and I'm going to draw a big U, a big U shape. There's the point. So here's my U shape like that. Whoa. So this must be the top of his head where his ears kind of stick out, right? There, does that look like a little bit of a giraffe? That's how I did it. I just started with a U and I went out to the ears and went, and then, and then okay. So now I'm gonna cut that. And of course, a giraffe. We'll make a giraffe face, kind of like we did the pig face. And then we'll give him some horns. And then you can also decorate the long tube for his neck. Okay, there. <laughs> Does that look like a giraffe head? Okay, we need some eyes, right? So, circle, circle, dot, dot. <gasps> giraffe nose, two dots, kind of big. And maybe we'll have a smiley face giraffe this time. What do you think? <laughs> he looks happy. But his head is missing those, I don't know what you call those, um, you call them horns? I think you do. So I have some scraps here. So I am going to draw a giraffe horn and cut out two at the same time, but you can cut out them separately. There's kind of the knob that's on the top and a long skinny horn. And I'm gonna cut that out. Just like we added pig ears, we're gonna add giraffe horns. Oops. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the back and stick my giraffe horns right in the middle, and turn it over. And then I have, of course, my big long tube. And remember how we did, oh, there's the hole. The other side, that's where I'm gonna add the giraffe face, okay? But this giraffe, of course, well, I'll do it really quick. Then we'll decorate his neck. And then we'll be all done for today. And you can invent your own animals as well. Okay, so I'm mushing the tube a little bit just to get the face on. This one I can't get my hand in to, to hold it. So I'm gonna hold it, there we go. So how about some giraffe spots? So you can take your tube and kind of draw any kind of giraffe spots that you want. Onto the long neck of your giraffe. And color them in. His giraffes have spots on their body. Okay, one more. And you can go around the back too. But there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to the FaceTime camera and you can see how the draft turned out and I wanna see how your animals turned out. because so we got a good zoo going here. There. Okay, so there's my giraffe. And here's my pig. <laughs> and here's my raccoon. And they're all noisy. So I'm going to say goodbye and thanks for joining us. And we hope your animals turned out to be a really cool zoo. <laughs>
pine cones in my box, and um, then the fun starts. I just start rolling them around. The air rushing out of the balloon is gonna push that balloon up. So let's see what happens. All right, one, two, three. Oh, whoa. So that's how rockets kind of work. We are going to build two different kinds of rockets today. Put the cork on his 